Yeah, the Kermit Gosnell case is fascinating because it seems to have provoked a level of emotion and momentum in American culture today, which I find to be a little bit odd. The reality is is that there's been well-documented cases, over 340 cases of women dying in abortion clinics since Roe v. Wade. So this is not like it's rare. The reality is, is that it happens eight or nine times every year. Secondly, the press has been particularly incensed by this idea of a newborn infant having their spinal cord snapped by Gosnell and terminating the life of a born child as if that is somehow a horrific. Well, if you compare it to the actual abortion procedures, one might say that the abortion procedures are far more horrific. The typical abortion procedure involves spinning knives, vacuums, and poisons. So to say that one is more horrific than another, it's hard to make that distinction. You know, my concern is that we've looked at this case as an isolated incident, not recognizing that the abortion procedure itself is horribly graphic and that women lose their lives uh, every year in abortion clinics. So we, need to, we can't be selectively horrified. We need to be able to contextualize this in the, scape of, in the scope of the abortion industry at large. The Gosnell case points to a tremendous devaluation of human life in America. Our culture no longer affirms life from natural conception through natural death. It's really a travesty because once you start assigning judgment to life at various stages, you can do that all day long as arbitrarily as you want to. So our culture now values uh, abortion as a right over life which of course is what brought Roe v. Wade to the forefront in the first place. But today it's manifested to where, in the Gosnell case, something like 17 years that the city basically turned its back on what they knew was happening in that case, really because of uh, monetary issues and profit issues, instead of valuing the lives of those women and children who were being destroyed in that clinic.